Presentation and speaking. Of all of the skills that are up there, this is by far more important than anything. It's more important than your technical skills. It's more important than your analytical skills. It's more important than your HR skills. It's the most important skill you can acquire to be successful in this kind of life. And I'll tell you why. Uh, and Viram will tell you this. People would walk into my office. Uh, they're upset maybe because they didn't get promoted when they thought they would. And I can remember in particular a young gal, very good technically. Of course, that's the thing you have to understand too is they're all good technically, okay? You're all smart. So she comes in and she's upset. She thought she should be promoted to manager and I start off by saying, okay, tell me why you should be a manager. So she's going through all the routine thing. Well, I had this many hours and clients like me, staff like me, here are my evaluations. And, and she says, and you know, I'm, I'm this and I'm that. And I start to yawn and I do it on purpose because I know it's going to upset her. And I don't mean to upset her, but I'm trying to get her off that stuff. And then I tell her, I said, I said, Kathy, what you're describing to me is 95% of PwC. I said, you're essentially saying that you're smart and hardworking and likable. That's the whole firm, okay? And not everybody in the firm is going to get promoted. What do you do to differentiate yourself in this practice group? What do you do? What are your attributes that are different from everybody else who either got promoted or wants to get promoted. And she just sat there and stared at me. Now that I got her on the right track, we started talking about what she could do differently. And now she's a director at the firm. She's probably going to be partner next year. And the first thing she jumped on was my suggestion to join Toastmasters, to work on that presentation and speaking skills. You know, there was a survey taken one time many, many years ago. People actually fear public speaking more than they fear death. They do. Now, maybe you've had a speech class and maybe you feel okay on your feet. But let me tell you something. The ability to be able to walk out onto a stage of four or 500 people and absolutely own that audience is a skill that I guarantee you will differentiate you in any environment. And how do you get that skill? Like she asked me, how do I acquire that skill? She knew I was a good speaker. She said, well, a guy like you, you're a born speaker. <laughs> I said, let me tell you something. I said, in 1982, I was given my first internal assignment in the firm. They put me in charge of running the United Way campaign. And so I had to stand up and I had to speak before the office and do those types of presentations. And there was a, a guy, a tax partner, his name was Charlie Meyer, who probably is responsible more for my success than anybody. He was nice about it, but after I gave my presentation, he took me aside into his office, closed the door, did a little small chat for a while, and then he brought up my presentation. And in a nice way, he basically said, I sucked. I mean, my voice was, was quivering, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, all these verbal pauses. It was, it was horrible. But he did it in a nice way, a lot nicer way than I would have done it. And he talked me into joining a group called Toastmasters. If you haven't heard of it, look it up. And I joined Toastmasters within a week. It was his Toastmasters group. And I went every Monday at 6 o'clock in the morning to Speedway, Checkered Flag, Toastmasters for over a year until I got to be very comfortable in front of a group, but not where I needed to be. And then I went into phase two, which he suggested, where I started going to speak to women's groups, finance groups, church groups, any place I could get in, any place where I could stand in front of somebody and present. And a very natural thing happened. You get better, and you get better, and you get better. I often tell people that the firm really took care of me. I had a great practice. I made a ton of money, and I have a wonderful retirement right now. And what I can point to is not my 
intelligence, not my ability to work hard, but my ability to generate revenue. And my ability to generate revenue is entirely due to my presentation and speaking skills. You're going to have to walk in front of boards and audit committees and convince them to hire you and not the other guy. And I guarantee you, aside from relationships, which really help, you're not going to be able to do that just because you have the better plan. Okay?